Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you about competition marketing strategies and why they're important. Now, competition marketing works very, very well if you keep a few key things in mind. Now, why would you use it? Now, you will use it because they are very, very effective in getting new leads, in getting engagement, in getting people to become aware of what it is that you're doing and all around just getting yourself out there. However, there's a few things that people screw up a lot of the time. And that is that they don't know how to monetize it. They don't know how to ensure that they make money from their competitions because we're all in business to make money, right? We're all in business to ensure that we get a good result at the end of the day. They also don't capitalize on those inquiries. They don't capitalize and realize the people that are interested in their products or services, how they can use them to make them more money. And that's what I'm gonna share with you today is how can you make a competition work for you? So first of all, you need to identify what is the prize? What are you going to give away? Please, please, please do not give away an iPad. Right? Do not give away something so ridiculous that people just don't care about it because all they want is the price. It needs to be directly related to your business. It needs to be directly related to what it is that you do to ensure that you get the right people. Because we don't just want awareness. We want leads and we want sales. Right, that's what we want, leads and sales, because that is what's gonna grow our business. So, step number one, get a good prize. That's directly related to your business, right? Step number two, work out how you're going to run it. We highly, highly, highly recommend utilizing Facebook Messenger bots. Why? Well, I'll tell you. It's going to help you by identifying your market, first of all, and second of all, using messenger bots, we capture everyone that enters as a lead, right? As a lead. Why is that important? Because you don't want to be telling people, oh, like, comment, share, tag your mum, visit your auntie to enter and win. That doesn't work. What works is if you know exactly who you want to market to, just get them to comment on a post, capture them as a lead, then you're able to take advantage of that, then you're able to collect leads, then you're able to make sales. Now, just on the way to the coffee shop, when I get in there, I'm gonna tell you how we monetize that action, all right? So I'll be with you in just a sec. Okay, guys, I'm at my favorite local cafe now, and we're gonna look at the marketing strategy behind the competitions. Let's just say I wanna run a competition for this cafe. I want them to get interest, I want them to get leads, I want them to get engagement, I want them to get sales. So we know what's gonna work for them, right? Coffee. So let's just say we ran a competition giving away free coffee. For them, they can have as much coffee as they want. Winner gets a free coffee a week for the rest of the year. Something really, really irresistible. Because for competitions, you need to make sure that it's something that's shareable, something where people go, I want my friends to know. I want my friends to be aware. I want my friends to be aware about exactly what's going on because I want them to enter. I hope they win. I really want to win, but I hope they win. I'm going to share it. Because if you don't have shareability, then everything else does not matter, right? It does not matter unless you have that shareability. If you do have that built in, then you can go off to the races. You can win the competition game. Now, once you've had that competition running, you've had a thousand people enter, one person wins all this great coffee, mm, delicious, for the rest of the year. What about the other 999 people that entered? What do you mean, Kim? What about the other 999 people that entered? What about them? You've gotta have a think and go, hmm, what can we do with them? They wanted our product or service, but they didn't win. Well, what can we do? Answer, runner-up prize. That's why utilizing the first point that I talked about being competition marketing strategies, using messenger bots, you can tie in a runner-up prize for all those people that entered all the people that commented, all the people that you now have their emails on and your messenger bot, and we'll head back to the office and I'll show you how you craft that and what, what platforms you can use. But when you do that, 
when you do that, all of those people can have a runner-up prize, which might be $1 coffees on Tuesdays. Use it to leverage and build on whatever it is that you need for your business. Let's just say that Wednesdays is quiet. Wednesdays is a coffee and cake special for $2, all right, or $1, whatever it might be. Bring people in, get them spending more money there, get them coming and engaging with you in your business when they haven't been before. You bring them back in with that runner-up prize so that you can leverage that and you can really start to build an effective audience that you can then roll out other strategies to. So other days, maybe Saturday becomes quiet, maybe you've got an event on a Monday that you wanna run, you can tie that back in so you can leverage it if you do it properly, because number one, you've gone a prize that's shareable. Number two, you've captured the leads and you've made it easy for them. Really, that should be number three. Make it easy for them. And number four, offer a runner up prize. If you do that and you do that effectively, what's going to happen is you capture everyone and you turn a competition where you're giving something away. Instead of it costing you money, you're able to create it where it can make you money. And I'll show you an example of one. We'll head back into the office and I'll do a screen share on one we ran for a local hairdresser so you guys can see the power of it. But really, it's that simple, right? Give away a coffee, cost you a couple of bucks, one a week for the rest of the year, 52. I say it costs you 52 bucks, but you get all these new clients that are aware of you now, all these new clients that wanna come and work with you, all these new clients that go, hey, I wanna go and get coffee from here. I wanna get my hair cut here. I wanna do business with this person because I've seen the value they put into the marketplace and they gave me a great offer. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back into the office now and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that looks like from a few of our clients. Let's do it. Guys, we're back in the office now and I wanted to show you the last part of the competition marketing strategy and you can see the results that they're able to generate. So we use a platform called ChatFuel for building out our competitions um, and building out our bots. <clears throat> and now you can see here, I'll show you an example of the, um, the ad itself, but you can see here um, Niche Hair and Beauty Bar. This was a client of ours. They now have 2.9 thousand people on their list. Right, over 2.9 thousand. So they've got a ton of people in here. So this is what we use for the autoresponder, if you will. This is what we use for us being able to send messages out to them afterwards. But obviously we need to get them into here first. So what we use is, I'll give you guys an example, an image like this. And what you can see here is we have a competition, we have this giveaway, um, and then all we do is we just do one thing. Like I mentioned at the start, we only want them to do one thing. We don't want them to be doing everything crazy. We don't want them to be inviting their auntie, cousin, uncle, auntie, all that sort of stuff. We just want them to comment below, blow dry below to enter. And as you can see here, we had nearly 600 um, engagements, over 5,000 comments and 41 shares. We didn't ask people to share. We didn't ask people to like, all we did is ask them to comment. So we got nearly 5,000, but you'll see 3,000 of them are actually over engagements because we have 2.9 thousand people in here. So 2,000 of these comments were people tagging their friends, people asking them to, you know, share, go, hey, enter, I wanna win, you wanna win, let's do this together. We incentivize them, we incentivize them to come through and actually interact. And what that allowed us to do was to build up a really uh, strong foundational list here of 2.9 thousand people that when we then offered them that runner up prize, when we offered them that next step, um, we were able to generate, I think it was nearly 200 bookings that came through purely from being able to engage, interact with them, have a list so that when they they do come through, you're not just going, oh, let's see what happens and offering something out. It's like, well, no, you're actually helping them get a result because they want what you have. They wanted a blow dry, you know, there's over 2.8 million, uh, million 2.8 thousand people that you can then interact with. So you may as well interact with them. Right? You may as well utilize them to enable you to grow your business. So instead of wasting money when it comes to a competition marketing strategy, what I want you to do is really think about exactly how you're gonna be able to drive it going forward. Make sure that you have engagement, interaction, you have a runner-up prize and you do capitalize so that you can make your competition formula, your competition marketing strategy, pay you for doing it, right? Pay you for doing it. Guys, that is it. So if you've loved what we've shared today, please make sure you like so that we know that we can make more of these videos like this for you. Comment and tell us what you like the most and subscribe so that you can keep in touch with us when we release new videos just for you. Thanks guys and adios.